right, so we just did the septoplasty part of the operation. This patient had a lot of problems breathing for a number of reasons. And this is the part of the septum we removed that was really curved. And you can see just how curved it is. You know, when you look at it, not only is it really curved, like a, almost like a, is it like a nacho chip, but it has this septal spur or spike. So you can see that spike, which was protruding. This spike was protruding into her left nasal airway. And also inside the nasal airway, she had a turbinate that was coming like this and making contact with it. So by removing the part of the septum that's really crooked, we didn't remove the whole septum, just the crooked part, and then fracturing that turbinate on the inside, we were able to open up her nasal airway. I couldn't put a Q-tip in now. Now I can put an instrument much larger in there, but you can see how severely deviated that nasal septum is. It's almost like a little shark fin sticking out, and that we call a septal spur.